Good morning everybody and welcome. Now before I talk about Omega, I want to share a few of the problems that we see today in logistics. So whether that's omnichannel shifts from B2B to B2C or B2C to B2B, it's shifting around. Whether that's order complexity, more SKUs, more piece picking or the delivery times to the end customer. Whether it's inflationary pressure with increasing fuel costs, rental costs or labour issues such as communication with foreign workers in the warehouse or rising wage costs. But at ALP, we're not worried about this. And let me explain why. Firstly, we don't just look client by client at the problems. We look at the industry as a whole. We look at those pain points and we build solutions at scale to solve them. Secondly, most warehouses we see are human centric. They're 10 to 13 meters high. Whereas for us, we focus on building at scale with automation at the heart and then introduce people, processes and sensors around that to help our clients on their digitalization journey. So here it is, here's Omega and it's big, it's really big. To put it in perspective in Malaysia, it's approximately the same size as 24 Bukit Jalil National Stadiums. So that's big. So let me take you inside. Inside Omega, we think of it in two key areas, storage and handling. At Omega's heart, in the center, we have this big automated storage and retrieval system for pallets. We call this an ASRS. And then around that, we have the handling areas. So either side, we have multi-storey handling areas, all connected to that central storage system. And this allows us to do a few quite amazing things. First, Omega grows with you. As your business expands, Omega expands with you. As you need more space, you simply rent more space in the shared ASRS in the middle. If you need more handling space, you can take on additional units around the outside or additional floors. So Omega grows with you. Second, Omega is built for the future. We build automation in the middle, as we saw, but we also build this facility to support automation at the front end. So support automated picking, automated sortation. Omega is built for your digitalization journey and for you to grow in the future. Third, because we use this automation in the middle of Omega, it's about three times quicker than manual processes. So what that allows us to do is it allows us to support multiple channels. So that B2B and B2C channel from one inventory. So this simplifies your processes and allows you to operate in a more demanding environment. And finally, because of the size of Omega, we're able to cluster brands and channels together within the same facility. And that allows us to do something quite unique. That allows us to transfer product between that brand to that channel using our automation rather than multiple handling and physical transportation steps between warehouses. We call this digital transport. Now, underpinning all of this is our in-house IT platform. It's taken us over five years to develop, and we call it ALPOS. This is really the brains of Omega, and it allows your warehouse management system to seamlessly integrate with the automation in the building, to move pallets in and out, and do transfers between brands and channels, the digital transport. But it's so much more. ALPOS is also built to manage that front-end automation. As you go on your digitalization journey, ALPOS is there to support you. On top of all that, we've built an entire visualization suite. So from dashboards here to apps, you have the data in the palm of your hand, allowing you to make decisions real time and fix problems before they arrive. So that's it. A mega, a more flexible solution with rental plans that grow as you grow. A more agile solution 
with digital transport built in, moving pallets between brands and channels, as well as shared facilities. A more efficient solution with automation built in, but also with the capability to introduce automation at the front end and grow your business. Thank you very much.